In today's video, I'll show you how to make a vintage style Halloween tree collar. The first thing you'll need to do is download and print the template, which can be found on my website, christopherheideman.com slash templates. Just download the Halloween Tree Collar Word file and then print as many copies as you need for the project. I printed six templates for the size tree that I have, which is a four and a half foot artificial tree. I chose to print this design on orange cardstock, but you could print on any color you like. You can most definitely use a scissors if you like, but these paper cutters are quite handy and make it easy to cut a straight line quickly. To sturdy the final project, I'm going to place a sheet of extra heavy black cardstock behind each template and cut them together. These will be adhered together in a future step. Then cut out the design, making sure not to cut off the glue tab area. If you use one of these paper cutters, make sure to carefully line up the design as it can be easy to accidentally remove too much by following the wrong line. I'm going to continue this for the other three sides. And here we have the trimmed template with the black cardstock trimmed the same size behind. I'm just going to finish trimming the other five templates. Now, with the orange template and the black cardstock aligned firmly, I'm going to use some hot glue to adhere them together. One mistake I made that I fixed later was not getting the hot glue as close to the paper's edge as possible. So make sure to get the hot glue as close to the edge as you can. It will make future assembly much easier. So here is one piece. I'm just going to finish gluing the rest. Now it's time to glue them together end to end. So keeping the design the same direction, you want to overlay the template to cover the glue region of the other template. Make sure they are lined up, then firmly holding them in place, lift one edge and glue. Then glue the other edge. Continue this until all the pieces are glued together. Then fold the arch shape to create the collar shape and glue together. To give it a nice curved circular shape, I'm just going to carefully bend the paper. Next, add a line of hot glue toward the bottom edge of the collar and adhere some paper garland to it. You could also use regular tinsel garland if you want a sparkling silver or black to go with other paper colors. 
I was trying to hold up the collar, hold the glue gun while balancing just under the camera, which wasn't the easiest way to do this. So I would recommend using a chair to hold up the collar for this gluing step. I personally love the orange and black coloring here as it is just so very classic Halloween and will match many of my other decorations and ornaments, of course. We are almost done. The final touch is adding some black glitter. You can use glue or Mod Podge with a paintbrush and then brush on accent lines on the existing design, making sure to dust it with glitter before the glue dries. You could use other glitter colors instead if you like. Gold would be neat. Or even green glitter if you used green paper. But yes, after I'm done with the rest, I'll show you the finished look. Make sure to watch the Halloween tree decorating video. And other fun, spooky crafts. Halloween shopping hauls. And Halloween vlogs this season. Also, if you haven't yet, feel free to check out my hardcover Halloween edition books, which are available on Amazon, linked below in the video description. As a little peek inside one of the books, here is a sample from the Beatrix Percival story. Branches shattered and the wind swirled. The ground raced under her bare feet as she dashed through the forest. The creature let out a terrifying, monstrous growl that echoed through the woods as it crashed through the trees. It was after her and she knew it. She ran for her life. Moments with her parents flashed through her mind. Was this it? The moon flashed through the branches above, casting eerie shadows in the woods. Breathing heavy, she kept running. She could hear it behind her, crashing through the woods. Clouds covered the moon and the woods went dark. She could barely see where she was going, but she knew she couldn't stop. Sticks scratched at her like claws as she ran. Suddenly, the ground gave way to air and she was falling, weightlessly into the abyss of darkness. A sensation filled her, one she had never felt before. This sensation scared her. Fear overwhelmed her, and she let out a scream that pierced through the night like lightning. A blinding flash of light filled the night air, the swirling world around her went still, and everything went dark. Beatrix's head was still racing. It took her a moment to realize she had stopped. Her eyes were closed. She was afraid to open them. She felt around with her arms. Nothing but air was around her. She tried moving her feet, but could feel no ground beneath her. She decided she would open her eyes on the count of three to see what was happening. Scared, nervous, she took a deep breath and counted. One, 